Hey guys, I'm coming to you today with a new video and um, I wanted to apologize. I did not put up a video last week and that was because my daughter was having massive muscle spasms in her back. So I went something like four days with zero sleep. Um, what little bit of sleep I did get was not good sleep because I slept light in case she needed me. But she's doing better, thank you very much. And today I am going to be talking about the history of wolves. Now, I read this book because Peter Mon mentioned it and he was like, it's fantastic. I think that's the word he used, fantastic. Anyway, I didn't care for it. Um, I agree with him that it pushed the limits. Um, and it pushed right up to that uncomfortable phase, but by the end of it, I was confused. There was no answers. Um, there was, I believe, like three different storylines. One was um, a teacher who allegedly um, sexually uh, assaulted a student. The other was a family, husband and wife, <clears throat> who had a son who got very, very sick and they're Christian scientists so they don't believe in going to doctors and he ended up die, dying. Um, and they have this court thing going on. And so the main character is being questioned because she babysat him. And then you have the storyline of the main character and her life with her mother. So by the time the book ended, there was no answers. The court case was not, we don't know how that turned out. Um, we know as far as the student teacher situation, the teacher apparently pled guilty, even though he did not do anything, but that's the extent of what we know. And the relationship with the mom, <clears throat> at best, it was strained. But that's all that's all you hear about it um, and she goes several months without even talking to her mother and I can't personally I can't comprehend that going months without talking to your mother when my mother was alive I talked to her nearly every day but to see a different relationship and how um, it was so strained and they were just on different ends of the spectrum. That was quite interesting. Um, but this book does push. It, it pushes your boundaries and it pushes right up like Peter Mon said. Hey Peter. Um, it pushes right up to that limit of is this comfortable or is this not comfortable? Um, as far as reading it. Um, I don't know what to give this book as far as stars. I'm so through with stars, but I was just very confused and I was expecting a little bit more. And that's maybe my fault because I expected. And I went in completely blind. I didn't read the synopsis, which I don't usually read the synopsis of books until afterwards. But I mean, it was okay. I just wish we had more closure at the end to the different storylines. Um, it could have just gone on a couple more chapters to clear those up. But it was okay. Um, so, anyway, History of Wolves. And I've got to find a book now to read because I'm... But I'm in a slump. This book put me in a slump. And I don't know why. Um, I've picked up... Nosferatu, can't get into it. I picked up um, Witches of Eastwick, can't get into it. I'm trying to find books that are um, good for Halloween time, autumn time, and the ones I'm finding, I can't get into. And I, I think that's because I am now in a slump. So, here's praying that I have a video next week. Until then, Please like this video if you enjoyed it um, and leave a comment how I can improve my channel if you want. But be nice and be sure and subscribe. Um, I try to put out a video every Thursday. Last week was not 
not done. Sorry. Um, and just have a great week. And until next Thursday, bye.